Hi, welcome to another question from the best of cat series. In this question, we are going to be discussing a concept on numbers. What I would suggest is you look at the question first, pause the video, try it out on your own and then have a look at the solution that will follow. If you like our content and want to experience the IMS pedagogy, you can join the IMS zero fee prep programs that will give you access to concept videos, sectionals, full length tests and more for free. You may click on the i button or on the link in the description box below to access the same. Happy learning. The question that we have here is rather straightforward. You have to figure out how many factors of the given expression exist such that they are perfect squares and they are greater than 1. Now this is a theta question meaning that you are expected to type in the answer. So you have not been given options and there is a good chance that you might make a small mistake which we will have a look at. So first of all, I need to understand how to find out whether a number is a perfect square or not. So whenever you have a perfect square, if you observe carefully, you will see that the powers to which the prime factors will be raised will all be even in nature. You can take a couple of perfect squares and see it for yourself. So let's say I'm looking at this number 36. 36 can be written as 2 square into 3 square in its most basic form. The power of 2 is even, the power of 3 is also even, meaning that this number will be a perfect square. So let's have a look at how can we represent this number. And there basically lies the first trap. If you look at the number that we have here, 2 raised to 4 is fine, 3 raised to 5 is also fine. But if you look at 10 raised to 4 that we have here, this 10 is not exactly a prime number. And that's why we will need to split this 10 first before we go about figuring out how many factors will be perfect square. So let's split this 10 first. We are going to get 2 raised to 4 into 3 raised to 5 as it is. And this 10 can be split as 2 into 5. And so we are going to get 2 raised to 4 into 5 raised to 4. Now, if you look at the factors that we have here, we can combine the powers of 2 to get 2 raised to 8 multiplied by 3 raised to 5 multiplied by 5 raised to 4. So that is basically the expression in such a manner that all the bases are distinct prime factors. Now, how to find out whether a number is a perfect square or not? We have already seen it. The power should be even in nature. Now, what all powers can 2 take in this particular expression? Or what all even powers can 2 take in this particular expression? 2 raised to 0 is possible. 2 raised to 2 is possible. 2 raised to 4, 6 and 8 are all possibilities. So, we can say that there are 5 ways to select a power of 2 from the number that we have here. Similarly, if you look at the powers of 3 that are possible, 3 raised to 0 is a possibility, 3 raised to 2 is a possibility and 3 raised to 4 is a possibility. So there exist 3 possibilities when we have to choose a power of 3. Similarly, if I want to choose a power of 5, 5 raised to 0 is a possibility, 5 square is a possibility and 5 raised to 4 is a possibility. Again, we have 3 ways to choose a power of 5. Together, if you look at it, how many factors are possible? We will need an even power of 2 and an even power of 3 and an even power of 5. So together we will have 5 into 3 into 3 that is 45 possibilities. But is that our answer? The short answer is no. Why? Because we need perfect squares that are greater than 1. Of all these possibilities that we have written, there will be one possibility wherein the power chosen for 2 will be 0 the power chosen for 3 will also be 0 and the power chosen for 5 will also be 0. So 2 raised to 0 into 3 raised to 0 into 5 raised to 0 will give us 1 which is not a part of our solution set because we need perfect squares that are greater than 1. So excluding that one possibility, the remaining 44 possibilities are all going to be a part of your solution set and so that will also be your answer. Now if you have understood this concept well and you want to try a replica question, you can try out the question that is at the end of the video. You can post your answer in the comment section below and in case there is something that you need help with, do let us know. Happy learning.